I'm Hans. I'm a model designer on the LEGO Star Wars team. And I'm Matty, a graphic designer on the LEGO Star Wars team. And here we have the brand new UCS Ultimate Collector Series Millennium Falcon 2017 edition. <laughs> 2017 marks the 40th anniversary of the original Star Wars movie. It's also the 10th anniversary of the original, older UCS Millennium Falcon. So this year we're bringing the model back. Same size as before, but greatly enhanced. For example, the piece count went up from 5,200 pieces to 7,500 elements, making this the largest LEGO set Whoa. ever. This model is way more detailed than any other LEGO Millennium Falcon ever released before. For more detail, we added more color, like dark tan elements and more dark gray. There's also uh, now a good balance between flat surfaces and studded areas. The new Millennium Falcon is a two-in-one build. You can choose either to go for the episode 7 or 8 version or build the classic Ver Falcon from The Empire Strikes Back by quickly swapping out the sensor dish with the old round dish and remove two small details from the front. Well, since this is a two-in-one, you also need the appropriate minifigures. Let's have a look at the minifigure line. All right. The Falcon comes with 10 figures. Like Han said, you can pick either the crew from Empire Strikes Back or the crew from Force Awakens. And there's a bunch of exclusives. Uh, we have a completely redone Han and Leia from Empire Strikes Back. And what's especially neat about them is that when you flip their heads around, they're wearing the respirators from that scene where they're exploring the belly of the giant space slug. Also, very special and first time they're appearing in any set are these little guys down here. We don't exactly know what their names are or what their role is going to be, but they're gonna be in episode eight. The exterior of the Millennium Falcon also received a lot of design attention. All the things, all the details that should be round and curved are round and curved now. For example, the big ring in the center of the model where the gunnery station is located. The air vents, sickle thing on the back, using a new quarter circle element. The docking rings on the sides of the model, the holes, in front of the mandibles, which are now correctly sized and located, and also the tunnel leading up to the cockpit, for which we even made a brand new windscreen element. Yes, and it's one of the most more impressive decorated elements on the model. The cockpit itself is made up of two decos, and along with that you also have the radar dish, which you've also seen, uh, the gunnery windows, the small panels on the front of the Falcon, and the final deco is a large hollow chest board where Chewbacca and R2-D2 played to Jarek. But that doesn't go on the outside of the Falcon, does it, Hans? I don't think it does, Maddy. Mm -mm. I think it's on the inside. For the new Millennium Falcon, we added two key interior areas. The idea is that you can open it up by removing small panels, but still keeping the outside appearance as it is without anything really missing. In the front, we have the compartment where the holo chest is located, with a sitting area and a computer panel and a chair. In the rear, we have the engineering compartment with access to the escape pods, another hyperdrive console, engineering console, hidden space below the floor, and the little romantic corner. More about that later. <laughs> There's plenty of stickers and decorate elements on the inside as well. I found the biggest challenge on this set to be the hallways of the Millennium Falcon. Uh, I had to try and create an illusion of depth to make it look like the minifigures could walk right down the hall. And also, you get a nice spec panel telling you all the mechanical and technical specifications of the Falcon. Additional features are a gunnery station below the center of the Falcon. You lift this off, and there you have room for one minifigure. We also have the boarding ramp to access the Falcon on this side. And a little surprise, a ground buzzer cannon coming out of the lower hull of the Falcon, right here. As a special appearance in this set, for the first time in 18 years of LEGO Star Wars, we have a Minoc creature. Minocs are little creatures that love to attach themselves to spaceships and chew through all the cables. So this is our new collector series, Millennium Falcon. We hope you enjoy building it. And may, may the, the force, force build, build with, with you. you.